Hi lovelies, so I am dressing up for a wedding so I thought why not record my hairstyle and my hair is pretty much first day hair and it's been in braids for the past two days. So I'm just going to take it out quickly and we shall begin. So I have no particular style in mind and if you're new here, my name is Shimei Juliet and you're in the right place for natural hair care and all things beauty, okay, just natural hair care. But yeah, if you're new here, you're in the right place and I have written two books that you could reference if you're trying to get your hair, if you're trying to get your natural hair growing faster and longer. Alright, so I am just taking down my braids as I was saying before the intro and this is what my hair looks like. I always get comments that I don't show what my hair looks like prior to styling and it pretty much just looks like this. So most times I actually don't bother to moisturize again because my hair is pretty much moisturized. I did a full protein treatment and if you don't know what that is, I have a video on that and my hair was properly, properly deep conditioned. So yeah, most times my hair is just pretty much in protective styles and in this case I only have one, two, three, four, five, five braids. So I am going to oil my fingers with my hair oil, yeah, which is a new formula I've been working on for my hair and it is so far so good. And I have more details, I'll share it with you, but yeah, just I'm gonna wet my hands and take down my hair. So this is what my hair looks like. It's healthy and it looks amazing. Just gonna take a little bit more oil, like so, and just rub along the length of the hair, mainly focusing on the ends. And I'm going to just finger detangle lightly because I want my updo to be smooth. I want it, I don't want it to have any definition. So I'm going to finger detangle very lightly to loosen up the curls. Alright lovelies, so I'm finally done taking out my braids and I'm just showing you what my hair looks like overall. Yes, I have a lot of curl definition just from the products that I used when I was washing and the protein treatment did help me enhance my curls. So the first thing you need to do for this updo is create your parts on each side. I wanted a fringe or sort of a fringe so I parted my hair on both sides and then right now i'm simply just trying to get my edges as smooth as possible so i used the curl enhancing lotion from Cantu, which was one of the products i used on wash day so i just wanted to stick to the same products so i use that first and then i go i'm using the shine and jam right now just to get my edges as sleek as possible if you saw my last styling video on how to slap down braids you would know that I am loving this product right now and it's simply because it doesn't flake on my hair it absorbs really quickly as you can see as I'm brushing it is just like sleeking into my hair and it has like no white flakes left over so I pretty much have reduced how much I would use Eco Styler just because I found this product so anyway right now i'm taking the part from the side which i showed you earlier both parts and then i'm creating another one from the from the left side of my ear and i am folding it to create a crisscross so you can play the video back in case you don't understand what i am saying just to see what i'm doing so it's all to create a crisscross but the main thing is you have to make sure you get your hair as smooth as possible i could have used a brush yes a brush is an option to comb out your curls but i didn't want to use a brush i just wanted to use my fingers only just to reduce how much um, breakage i would get so after you crisscross you take the hair left over at the bottom 
and you fold it in and you bobby pin it it's as simple as that lovelies i'm just smoothing it and making sure that the back is all right so right here i'm just trying to figure out which is a better side for me to place my bangs i would call it and i chose my right side and what you need to do is divide your front hair into two and you begin to simply tuck in each side so it's pretty much as simple as that you're just tucking each side towards each other and then when you're done when you get to the tips of your hair that's the ends of your hair then you twirl them together and pin it into the fringe itself so it hides the bobby pin within your hair so once i'm done with the hairstyle i just like tie a scarf over it if you've got a smaller satin scarf that would have been better but this is what i had at that point and this is when i'm done dressing up i was going for a very minimal look just because i'm going to be wearing a face mask anyway so i was like what's the point of wearing lipstick everyone's just going to be seeing my eyes <laughs> so there's no point to wearing too much makeup so i just put powder and this is the final look for the hairstyle i hope you will like the updo i personally loved how you know voluminous it looked how my hair was shiny you know the updo just looked absolutely it looks absolutely beautiful and i hope you all give it a try and tag me in your photos and videos if you make any and i'd love to reshare them on my stories so thank you all so much for watching don't forget to live well live great and pray always thank you again and god bless you bye